Good evening, infidels, I suppose. <sighs> are we doing that again? Of course we are. Um, that last update to the camera software doesn't seem to have done the camera autofocus much of a service. There we go. Tentacles are afoot, or is that underfoot? Stomp and find out. Heretic. Well, we might have faith in me, and no, you wouldn't have. You're a her heretic, so why would you have faith in me? Uh, what you would have, though, is uh, a lack of faith in the tentacles. And this is why you are an infidel. But I don't think I shall make good evening infidels my... Um, Standard greeting, I, I suppose that would rather be more fitting with uh, when I pop into your stream as a random guest. Also, good evening, TZ girl, and uh, thank you for claiming first, Wally. Uh, if you see some weird hair thing behind here, it's because I have everything down today lump of some sort because otherwise it actually hurts my the top of my head due to the headset good evening host welcome um so we are out at the uh, Titan Forest sites. This station is highly temporary. Um, I think this area is mostly for oil. There should be oil around here somewhere. I so rarely use this feature that I've actually forgotten how to use it. Yeah, it's over there. Uh, but there are some other nodes here as well, I believe. Let's have a look-see, shall we? Because there are several things I think we can pick up, pick up out here. Uh, click to drop, say, game. Uh, Oh, change to that map, please. Although it's parsing a couple of entities. So this is where we are. Ah, uh, bauxite, yeah. Although I don't think I would pick up bauxite all the way from over here to there. I'll probably... No, I hate building uh, <laughs> trains inside of the Titan Forest. It is pain. Uh, but isn't there anything else out here? Like, uh, well, pure limestone isn't really that useful. Yeah, there's iron here. And copper over there. So I might veer off the train going out here. Like these things. These, these are the trees. And those trees are um, men's. I don't think there's any caterium up here. No. Coal? Yeah, there's coal as well. Ah, oh, this could be a steel plant then. Three pure of each. Although, is the ratio one to one on steel? I forget. Uh... Why did they move that over there? I would like to... Yeah, it takes compacted coal. And one compacted... So I would need three of that. Why didn't it add that to the... 
Okay, so it isn't one to one, but compacted coal requires sulfur, so this is not a good recipe. Yeah, this one. The solid one. The solid one does take one to one. So this would be the one that I would be using then. How do I delete things from here? Just zero it? What? That's very inconvenient that they have it added a way for me to delete it. Is it because of my... No? Oh well. Options. Graph direction. View mode. Yeah, whatever. So this might be a good spot for steel, and then there's copper down there, and there should be water if I want to do it in the pure recipe. Although these water lakes are mildly annoying to work with. But uh, be that as may, be that as it may. First of all, uh, since uh, Wally is useless, let's do a shout out for Wally, who is a member of the Red Circle family. Like, but she's not actually leaving the cat bed, <laughs> so she's just claw, 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 and... and you'll be in a world of pure deforestation. Take a look, <laughs> and you'll see oh, into total. Uh -oh, no! Did you fall? Devastation. No, I lived. Or I did, but I lived. Hey, Mr. Truck, you're doing you're welcome, quite Jake. well. Yeah, I noticed the trucks were actually running now. Yeah, I, I fixed so. them. Imagine that. Wally singing. That is a treat. Oh! You were able to keep the, the tone. I mean... It wasn't horrible. But I wasn't planning on uh, staying out here. We are going to go to the uh, new station that I've built, which is the Gold Coast Oil Power. And uh, on the trip you will see some minor changes that I have done. The rail network. And it was kind of mindless to do that build. Very repetitive, but uh, I'm happy with the results. So, but it was definitely not something that I was caring to do on camera. Yeah, I was thinking the same there, addicted to capping. Also, good evening, or I guess good afternoon. Tree might have to go, but I don't think so. And here's the first of them. As you can see, I've added lights on the uh, railway tracks. Which also has the added benefit that I have power running in cables in addition to the uh, power going through the rails. On all of the stretch of rail that I have added um, the uh, light poles to. And I think it was JP who uh, gave me the tip of uh, how to do the uh, power connector in the middle of the uh, light poles there. Thank you. I can't take credit for it myself though, because uh, JP was the one who uh, tipped me about it. I guess when I do the train I should probably be on this angle, because having the lamp go through the screen, or the monitor, or the stream, or whatever, would be a little bit annoying. But I'm using... oh, that, sh that power cable should not be there, because I've been taking the power cables where the, wherever there is a crossing uh, underneath. It doesn't clip, actually, but uh, it just looks better. Yes, but I always like to, let, to give credit where it's due as well. 
and in this case, the credit goes to someone else, so... Because they found a very, very, very smart way to do that. SMRT and so forth. And it's not something that I would have thought about myself. I mean, you could technically just link up the the light uh, holes uh, in succession to one another, but that would give me two cables running down there, and by having it this way, I get the cable centered in the in the um, build, which I feel looks better. But this is the new station, which is primarily for now built as an AFK train station so that I can actually show off this uh, immensity down there. But let me show you the um, the uh, the light build thing. It is actually very very neat. Hello Dreimal. Yes, I uh, I well, I've always liked trains. I, I even have a, a dedicated hotbar for this currently. That will probably go away. So you find the center of the uh, wherever you want to place the um, street light. And then the one that points down at that track, you want to move out, out one. Since update 5 added the very nice ability to go by very small increments. Instead of usually it would be this. These two increments would usually be one increment. In update 4 and this would have clipped with the train so I'm very happy about that so put one there and you turn it around and you put another one at the other side so you get this crisscross thing then you take the frame pillar you build two of them and then you take a wall outlet and you put that in the middle and you remove the frame pillars and you connect up the power like that and now you can either hook it up like this. Of course, I would have to go to the uh, light uh, control panel to make sure that I get the lights yellow. Uh, but the other way you could also do this is by just bringing the power cable with you underneath and then hook it up directly underneath. Yes, they are clipping, but it doesn't look... Uh, like they are clipping in a bad way. It looks like it's just one light fixture. Especially since these are... The, con the power connectors are just below. So it looks like it's just a double double street lamp. Yeah, I don't want to disassemble the rack over there. Now, another thing that I did, let's go over to the uh, Hamburg Hauptbahnhof station. Move that, save, on. No, I believe it is very much a German word. German w word. Word. Hauptbahnhof, I would assume that it means the uh, main terminal or main hall of the Hamburg. No, main track. Main track. Something. I'm not sure what Hof means. But Hauptbahn, that's deducible for me in Norwegian. It would be Hovedbahn in Norwegian. Main railway station. Okay, yeah, so it is that simple. So in Norwegian it would be Hovedjärnbanestation. Imagine that. A word that is even longer than the German. It's not only you guys who make those long words, you know. But let's turn off the self-driving so it doesn't go on a honking spree. What's heresy now then? So I've built these little interesting contraptions. You all probably remember how the um, 
how I used walls here to uh, connect up the uh, hypertube and the belt. Yes, I know. Rindfleisch, äh, Rindfleisch, Etikettierungs, Überwachungs, Auftragens, Aufgaben, something, Betrag. I'm acutely aware of this. What I did instead is that I'm using the beams and I've built these little... Um, you may use your interpretation and decide what they are for yourself with uh, conveyor wall mounts, which enables me to have belts attached to ceilings now. But the last patch seems T-shaped mount. That sounds like an excellent idea. Yes, the last patch seems to have fixed the uh, ability for me to make T-shaped mounts because I think they have now made them, yes. So I can't make them anymore. Oh well. It's a good thing I can't color these because I would have. I'm childish like that. Yeah, I could try. Could try, let's see. Does nothing. Oh well. I shall leave them as a uh, relic <laughs> of the past. There's actually an episode of uh, Redefining Language where I uh, pronounced that word uh, for Catherine Dreimal. Uh, Rindfleisch, yeah, Rindfleisch, Etiketterungs, Überwachungsaufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz. That is the full word, apparently. Honk to you, too. How good my German pronunciation is, I don't know. Thankful chili cheddar. Wow. I, I kind of like the. Uh, the um, random words that Twitch clips come up with. I wish there was a way to hide the UI completely. Oh, there is. Ah, now I, I can do that when we do uh, AFK trains. I was curious about that. Why can't I hide the UI? V opens this. So to, to hide the UI, you have to press P and then middle mouse button. And I think that the V is for the uh, scanner when you're not inside of a train. Good evening, Quadrotus. Pleasure to see you. M brings up my map as well. But P brings up the photo mode. And then the middle mouse button hides the UI. It says so down in the instructions over there, over, over yonder. Toggle UI, middle mouse button. This is the default key mappings. I don't think I've messed with them. Um, oh. Some other things that I've done is I've removed that silly floor that was going out all the way there. I hid the power poles for the uh, hypertube cannon underneath there. And I saw something in its bits stream, which I found pretty uh, neat. You can make signs like these to say that we were now working on... Yeah, I 
just to to show it. Uh, hexagon, or if I can type, smelting array, and then save sign settings. And then we could go to this one, and let's, for instance, say that the next thing that I wanted to do is... Um, Let's say that I wanted to set up a steel. Um, good evening, Zethlorian. I'm not sure where the steel thing is. Apparently it's like that. And then I pick a red color. Up. And, well, actually, we should pick a different icon. So, an X, like that. And then steel smelting outpost. And this kind of gives you a, well, it should be brighter. Not that bright. So, like that. Gives you a to-do list in-game. I really like that idea, so I'm stealing it. I'm not going to have it here, but, uh, but I really like that. Uh... No, you can do that, actually. Oh, right, it just hadn't kicked in the uh, emission. There we go. So, currently working on, then next, and then just go down the list. Yes. I know Cobalt is watching, but she has me muted at the moment, so, uh, but... Literally. But that's something that I did. I've cleaned up some vegetation that was uh, growing through the foundations. I don't think I got all of it, but most of it. Of course, we have the glorious monument to the heretic up there. What else did I do? Yeah, I... That was the final thing I did. I cleaned up the hypertube cannons. Um... Let's quickly review those. Because we had some obstinate trees that was growing through foundations and stuff. Oh, here. Oh, the uh, hypertubes? That's a long while ago. Must have been in April or May. I built these before I got trains. But they're still useful, though. Because if I wanted to get from... there... to there by train, I would have to go around the entire thing to get out there. It's just quicker to use the hypertube networks. I also made cannons here. Just to make sure it's a little bit faster. Really need to clean up this place. And cannon back. And we go back here. And we can go this way.
This is weird, having to chat with someone in chat. Hello, Marshall. I'm not, I'm not sure if it deposited me down on the actual floor, but I also made this contraption to not have to jump over the belt there and stuff to get into the hypertube can. And this place also needs serious cleaning up. So that's basically what I've been doing uh, off camera. Um, I'm not sure why you were wondering about that, addicted to capping. I don't particularly need coal at the moment. I have the coal I need at the outpost we just came from. Let's go to uh, blah. remove. Uh, I want to go to the sulfur. One tentacle does fix everything. I agree as well. But yes, there there, there should be uh, ample coal nodes in the uh, northern forest as well. But currently, I've uh, oh yes, everyone's map is exactly the same. If you go to, uh, you can see wherever the nodes are if you just go to uh, to the interactive map. There's three pure coal nodes not too far off uh, from there. Um, I'm using the coal nodes that, is, that are here. Uh, haven't tapped those two yet because I don't need it. I'm, I've tapped the three pure nodes up there. The Great Gizmo Catius. Yes. I still am very curious about this Great Gizmo Catius. Did it deselect? There's a normal coal node as well down there. I really dislike building in this area here because of the Titan Forest. No, no, just stay as long as you want, Marshall. I'm happy to have you here. Gizmo makes more intelligent sounds like than that, though. No, not a stupid question. I mean, but the, the map is, I mean, this world is kind of, uh, what is it called, um, the, the, um, the engine. Having this map being, um, procedurally generated would be, um, wait, might be a good idea for me to turn on that. And thank you for the follow, Gizmo. I'm not sure if I'm going to remove that tree. So, I think that I did a couple of things here as well after I ended the stream, which was namely to put up signs, which I should enable. Yeah, that is because it doesn't enable the uh, emission by itself, it would seem. I have signs which are supposed to tell me what's where. I, maybe this was added in the patch today? Because I can't re remember having seen the emission strength before. T 
52.2 thousand. Yeah. I think there's one person here who's, who beats you, though. And feel free to suggest redeem redeem things uh, in the Discord server. If I uh, see something that is uh, good and or fun, I might add it. Come on. Technically, it should be enough to just press these save sign settings, but it doesn't have to actually click that. Oh, well, good that it's only three. No, no, no. Suggestions for new redeems. If there are any ideas for redeems, that's what I meant. The uh, redemption uh, points are only for... Uh, or here and as a if you want if you like to see me go brb all the time so that i have to wash my hands then i suppose no there is no such integration that i can uh make any kind of redemption not that i know what kind of redemptions i would make either but uh that aside, so I, I added those signs, and the final thing that I did was add outdoor lights. These. I have one of them at each side of the um, hexagon. Throw them all your points just to... Make me constantly well. There is a there is a one hour limitation to how often you can redeem the leg exercise thing, and I don't think I have any posture check or anything because, uh, yeah, why bother? Yeah, I put these signs here. These are going to go away. It's just for my uh, personal. It's like a note, but it would be helpful if I could. Yeah, that's going to be helpful actually. Exactly, Wally. Exactly. I'm not even going to object. Because my posture really is horrible. But it's very relax very relaxing. They must have done something to the signs. I can't remember them having this many uh, options. Yes, they did. They added emission strength, brightness and surface finish matte or glossy settings to all signs. Ha! If it doesn't show up in the requests list, it's not a not a redeem. I assume that if you are unable to claim first, the first thing you do is do posture check. I'm not sure if I have to ask him about that. It kind of feels like a given now. Let's remove the... Uh, those and have one of them instead should you like wait with redeeming those until after it's been a little while yeah look how nicely they fixed the um 
The snapping to the conveyor lift uh, hole, uh, Wally. It's brilliant, isn't it? Works like a charm. Although it might be because of the... Um, Might be because of that. Yeah, now it doesn't want to clip at all. Or snap. Let's remove that. Yeah, it's because of the, uh, the roof tile thing. All right. It's not horrible. I think slouching is the default. Exactly. Um, sorry, my, my brain just had a, a stop there. Can I? As a matter of fact, it would seem I can. But I'm not sure if I need that thing. Okay, one more. I don't need it. At least not for that one. Moving right along. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. How am I going to get that up there, though? This is a straight line. This is a straight line. Up until this point, which is good. I suppose I could go here. Oh, it isn't straight. A straight line compared to what is down there. Okay, let's do this a little bit differently then. Should be an interesting direction to put it, pull it. The elevator hole is there. So around here.
Well, this one's going to be interesting. Ish there, I think. Not bad for a first attempt. Is it? Yes, it is. Well, except for the lift being the wrong height, but still, that wasn't bad in terms of um, where it snapped to. Guess I'm getting better at eyeballing it. Apparently, I can't get it to be the same height as... Okay, so that... Is that one... Now, I think that one has uh, an incline 2. So what I want to do is have it one further down, actually. Yes. And to find the impossible place where it snaps. And I believe one should be enough. And I believe wrong. It has to be two. No, it hasn't it doesn't have to be two either. It I'm not going to get this um right no matter what I do. However, if you look at it from down below, it looks like it's correct. Sometimes you have to make compromises. And uh, when you're dealing with radial buildings, I know that you have to make compromises. <laughs> sure this is the best way of getting the uh, ore up there, really. There are probably prettier ways of doing it. You would know all about that, Wooly, but uh, I usually don't function like that. Another thing is that I should actually have hooked that one up to that one. I might have to have a belt running behind this machine. It snaps to the belt now? No, it doesn't. At least it doesn't do it gracefully. I'm sure it would have worked, but... Oh, it did actually snap to the belt gracefully. Okay. Yes, I want you. That thing is noisy. These aren't power, are they? No, they aren't. Good. And this one is not straight in the entrance, to put it mildly.
Neither is this one. Now, why would anyone want to place a belt on a cable? Can I at all place a belt? I, I need to test this. Can I place a belt on a cable? Floor is too steep, so I don't think I can place a belt on a cable. Because that isn't really too steep. But... Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, I saw someone having a belt placed on a cable, to be honest. People do all kinds of st strange things. Now I want... Let's see here. Uh, I think it's... You know what? It might be simpler. Just a tad simpler. If I do that. strictly necessary I think we can just do that yep now the final one that is supposed to go up there have a coffee quad it's better for you better for you than whiskey Is. This place is just crazy. I think that tree sadly has to go. I wanted to go up there. And in addition to that, I also wanted to be... ...going out that way. Four. 
that should align with that be correct or <laughs> well first of all I think the height is um oh, right that's what's wrong uh obviously since I pulled the foundation from upstairs and the one upstairs is half a foundation of course just get more complicated can I use a roof tile have to use a frame four does that make it even? Not really, but I suppose it's as good as. I now then put... Come on. Let's not go away. And go away. Take the foundation. Zoop it. No, I can't zoop it in either, but... Okay, so like that, now remove uh, those foundations. This is getting complicated. And then that should be zoopable over there. Good. And it will probably still yield a minor difference in the... Actually, it is the same height. Um, but I have no idea where the correct angle would be. That is definitely not it. Neither is that. Nor that. That is. Good. Uh, do I want to leave that there? Not really, to be honest. I'm going to remove that. I think we decided that we needed to have the beam at height 4. And with this foundation being there, I need the beam to come down. There, one, two, four. Okay. I don't really need a beam there, to be honest. I need a beam where I am going to have the turn. It should be interesting. Just, uh, let me just place the lift. I take that one down, yes. Oh. No, two down seems too much. Just test that quickly. Yeah, two down is as good as it gets. That actually doesn't look too bad. I think I can go with that. That was, again, lucky, I suppose. I thought they said that these things align properly now. Heretics. Clearly, they were misinformed. I dare you to make a line to that lift or, or conveyor pole. Ah, you wouldn't? No, 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 no. I didn't think you would. What's the use of adding those things, th these lines, if they don't pop up when you need them?
I think that is one too far down. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Really? Um, that means I need to do some adjustments up there. Can I get power back? <laughs> if I remove uh, this, I want to move that up one away, and there should be another one there because I managed to place down two of them. Does this clip into the ceiling? It doesn't. This is going to cause the same problem, though. That is acceptable. What is going on here? Oh, it's you. I guess this thing has to... to there? Yep. This thing is now too long. Yeah, the, the, the patch they did with the beams and stuff, that, that was a very successful uh, thing. Very successful. Sheesh. Okay, now I have that. And what I can do then is... Move those. And ones here because did it either and this one. I think I'm actually going to remove this as well because it's just gonna look silly. Yeah. Belt is short enough that it looks natural. Of a sort. The final one is the one that is out there. That one is interesting. Two seconds, please. about that um okay you are going to annoy me my dear can i just throw you off the mountain or something and you can start wandering around down there instead You didn't make weird noises, but you do. Yeah, now if you didn't clip into things, then I would leave you there and build some beams like this and keep you captive. Or is that going to work? With that. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Final hole is over there.
that goes down this line here. Let's just put a beam here as a marker. Yeah. Patch did wonders. Well, this isn't too bad, actually. It'll come... I can go straight from there, out here, and then that way. It's nice. I'm starting to wonder if my game patched at all, but... Since this thing doesn't give me the... Uh, other shape anymore. Something has changed. I don't think that's entirely straight. However, I was wrong. It is entirely quite straight. Then we want to have a belt coming out of this little machine. Preferably not curving off itself. I'm pretty sure that having the lift go up here should do the trick. Which means that, ironically, the one that I thought would be the worst one was actually the easiest one. Huh. Okay. Uh, the copper goes up there and there, so that is a little bit easier. Well, it isn't really, but... Does that mean you can hear me? Oh, wow. Uh, brain is in somewhat meltdown mode, but uh, that's nothing unusual. The, um, the offset of the height things with the 0.5 meters and things like that have been mildly annoying as it's offensive to my delicate senses that things are not aligned but on the upside that thing which I thought was going to be the most complicated one is actually the one that was easiest to hook up to the uh, to the thing this is Underneath of this hexagon, this is starting to look very interesting with these tall lift contraptions. Kind of tentacly. Which I guess is very appropriate. But that's so called fixated in regards to these. Yes, that is exactly where I would want to get out. As you can see, the there's a slight slant on the belt that I'm not that happy with. But I don't think I can um, put the belt there. Because that would make the ore clip into the floor. I made a rhyme. Well,
Well... I suppose I can rest my brain by going over to the sign and show it to you. And that's why I viciously attack those things, because they scare me. Missing heavy modular frame. No, but if you want me to come and help you fix your trains, then I suppose I could. Do I have to put that on my to-do list, though? Wouldn't it rather be uh, ask Caledorn to help with trains on your to-do list in that case? Uh, no, you'll see. Thank you, Wally. Said on the. Uh... The last stop, bigger than some, smaller than others. I think these are probably the smallest. This is something that I saw in It's Bits stream earlier today. You can use these uh, little uh, four meter label signs, and then you can have your current task, and then you can have uh, in red what you haven't done. You can even have it in very bright red if you want to. And I was thinking that you could have a sign like this in your base uh, with, uh, well, the current task could be rebuild 90% of the world. And then you could have all of these red signs which you would probably just leave there, but or forget about. But it would be something, like a, a, a more fancy to-do list. I mean, it's going to be the same in my base, I'm going to forget about it, but... Uh, <laughs> because I'm no better. Which is why I allow myself to uh, make fun of you for it, because I am exactly the same. I don't know. I don't know if I've seen the one that you already have. But they added this today. The emission strength. So you can have them light up in the dark. You can have... Uh, so... Uh, what? Ah, oh, there it is. It's a check mark. You can find a nice green. Like that. And remove the text, and we can have uh, finished the factory with the emission strength two. There we go. Nope, I haven't. But now you now you can have lights on it. I know you have a to do list thing. I, I have seen the to-do list, but I was thinking that you can make it more fancy. Do you keep forgetting about it, though? That's the big question. I like that sign. I'm going to keep that. Um... Should have another one of these. I need to... Uh, 
Oh. Y... Well, clearly no. That would be boring. Go. Added. Probably add... That. Yes. So these tasks are done. Yeah, I, I really like the uh, the lighted thing. The number three setting is a little bit bright, but uh, number one is nice for most things. But for these, I want to use number two. Yes, I, I feel that I have been quite productive. I've added all of the lights to the uh, to the rail road though. I'm not sure how productive that is, but uh, looks nice. Ish. I don't need a steel smelting outpost. I actually what I do need is a uh, basic materials outpost. And I also need uh Opus settings is quite useful actually. And mall. Uh There we go. As you can see, I'm very much looking forward to that part. Sounds like a very uh, good plan there, uh, Seth Lorian. Did the train go away? Yes, I think it did. Yes, we'll have to wait for the train then. I can check out your screenshot meanwhile, uh, because I didn't see that. Uh, where did you put it? No. Factory banter. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that is very nice. I like that. Yeah, it looks much better with the... I, I wish they would just give us the option to build those uh, one-meter walls as four-meter walls. Because <laughs> having to replace all of those walls on, on that facility for you... Mm -hmm. I hope they do. I'm sure they've noticed that people are doing exactly and time-consuming since you can only do ten at a time. Until smart comes out. But anyways, I stole this idea from uh, It's Bits, so uh, the credit is to uh, is going to him. He probably stole it from someone else. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to. But then. After update 4, it took like a month after it was pushed to early access before it actually worked properly in uh, in uh, SML. Yeah. Well, credit where credit is due. Since I saw it at its bits, then credit to its bits. Okay, back to more brain wrangling. It was a nice little break though.
This is one of the reasons why I like trains. It gives you a kind of a option to just sit back and relax while you enjoy the ride. And you get to see things. That said, I probably... Mm, no, I don't do that. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff behind me that I would want to deal with, but... Uh, let's take it one time, one, one thing at a time. Uh, turn off self-driving... I know, I know. It's um, it's a strange concept, and I mean I haven't really done one thing at a time myself since I spent all day putting up street lights along the railway. But that is something that I felt wasn't very appropriate for the stream itself because it would probably put people to sleep, which might be inconvenient during the middle of the day in Europe. Stairs in ADHD. Yes. Yes, I understand that. So, uh, heretic, are you still here? The Arch Heretic. Why aren't you showing up in the list of the moderators? There you go. I need to uh, randomly remove this window. No. But you might have been tabbed out or something, I don't know. Twitch does Twitch things. Oh, why on earth would I fire you? That, 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 that would be devastating. Yes, you have. This isn't strictly necessary. Why is it doing a bump every time I go over a... ...seam? That's new. Uh, the heretic I was trying to summon is apparently uh, not present. That's better. I was going to scold him. Yeah, there we are. You need to be scolded for not having power lines out here. Which means I have to put them up manually. And I keep falling down. Yeah, a ladder. You wouldn't have done it right. Well, you've done most everything else right. Which I'm not sure if is... Um, there we go. I sort of want to say that it's kind of scary. Then again, when you put your mind to it, you actually do build rather structured and orderly. Yeah. Streetlight, that's exactly what I wanted. Nor did I. I had no idea at the time that I was going to build this monstrosity. <laughs> Trust you me.
I want this to just stand still there. Because I don't know if it's actually straight. Kind of feels as if that is the correct location. Yeah, that, uh, that looked absolutely beautiful. I hate trying to line up lifts. I think there. No. And now it well maybe with the new soft clipping system I'm allowed to clip it through. No, I'm not allowed to clip it through because it now connects to it instead. Uh-huh. Indeed. I had to do something. But now I have a conveyor pole stuck inside there. Now ah, there we go. But that does get a slight uh, curve, but there's nothing I can do about that. Because if I take that lift down one, then the curve will go downwards instead. So, whatever. Welcome back. And now this one is also going to be interesting. Absolutely no idea how I'm going to get that over there. Um, hmm. Feel free. Can I? I can. I suppose I could. It's going to ruin the. Um walking path here if I do that. And I suspect it's going to be too long. I might have... might be able to do it like that.
no, I don't think so, because it would look out of place. Since I'm, well, I like the idea, but I feel it would look out of place here. Uh, I'm also considering moving this belt underneath. Instead of having it like that. So having the belt go on the ground level until it's underneath the uh, uh, the building. Uh, that doesn't work either. I need to pull it up even one more then. But that would work. And then... Two... You don't have to apologize for making an for giving an idea, addicted. Uh, this is something that I miss from um, Smart, being able to soup something into a foundation. Uh, do I really want the frame foundations there, though? I don't think I do, to be honest. I'm also not sure... <sighs> yeah, sure. It's good enough. The frame foundation doesn't really look good. If I remove the frame foundation and I replace it with the frame pillars, that would be better. Right. Definitely looks better. But I should have a frame floor inside of it then. Like that. Yep, there we go. Here, I think I'll just keep the frame foundation there. I bring that to the very edge there. I don't know if this is going to work. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aha! <laughs> it's going to work exactly. Because I should be able to pull that belt from there to exactly there. That is the maximum distance of a belt. Which means I can instead use frame foundation and a glass frame foundation inside of that and I can remove these. Why didn't I take them? Yeah, that works. Thank you. Not that it was anything except pure luck, but uh, we can applaud for the luck. Yeah, me too. And it's so rare. like I did it on purpose. Usually that's actually how my brain works too, uh, Addicted. Just ask Wally. He will confirm it. Uh, 
Okay, I sometimes do it on purpose, but I cannot claim credit for that being on purpose. That was pure unbridled or something luck. Yes. <laughs> it's part of his charm. Yes, yes, it was Wally. Good heretic. Pat pat. Uh, yeah, it's quicker than doing it the way that I us usually did it. I, yeah, I was, I was going to say the same thing. What is a normal brain that functions like a normal human being? Is there such a thing? I have definitely not heard of such a thing. Uh, yeah, the, the way that I usually... I'll demonstrate. Let me just try to desperately attach this to where it's supposed to be. Uh, when I built turns like that on the belt, I would usually put up the conveyor pole first. But after watching Wally, I saw that it's easier to just twist two and then move the belt instead of putting the conveyor pole there before then placing the belts. I mean, being a heretic isn't all bad, apparently. Sometimes they even have good ideas. That'll work. That will not work. I don't want a belt there. Have a pleasant afternoon then, Marshall, and thank you so much for popping in. Yeah, that was uh, JP who mentioned, and I love it as well, because it, finally you can get ceiling mounted belts and things without having to use those horrid uh, wall things. And yes, I am going to move the uh, that underneath because, yeah. Yeah, that was part of what I did <laughs> in... in uh, in my off off stream work replacing those silly walls because it's, uh, it's so ugly mm. there is something to be said for when it comes to uh, to what you're saying there, uh, Addicted. Um, I think the quote is something like, with genius comes madness or something like that. So be happy with, with your brain as it is. I don't need a street light, I need a belt. Is this going to be correct? Yes. Although I'm I'm still slightly uh, miffed that they have fixed these because they didn't these little not dual thingies or connectors, they didn't use to snap to the beams which made me able to build certain interesting shapes because I'd have to have two of them on the bottom of each of these. And now I can't do that anymore. This makes me sad. Yes, interesting. That's a good quote, actually, Addicted. Uh, 
can that I can just take the lift down, I suppose. It is absolutely <clears throat> Absolutely not in the right location, though. Not that it really matters, because I can just move the belt to the location. Uh, is here. Why did that get slanted? Oh, I know why it got slanted. Because I did it the wrong way around, didn't I? No, I didn't. What's the problem here? Do I have to do it from here? How successful that was. Now yeah, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I can't that. And finally, we need to fix these things. enough power shards i don't think so six i need one two three four five six seven eight I need twelve you have to go slug hunting I don't think my brain will mind though. That is also very true addicted. Okay, can we go slug hunting in this area? I know there is a slug out here. But I think it's a blue one. Yes, it is a blue one. Not that helpful. Nah. For once, I'll actually go hunting. Love that sound. Slush. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there are other slugs as well. If I just bring this power line with me. Oh, 
I'm fairly certain that I remember... The Titan Forest begins here? Interesting. I didn't know that. That's a Mercer Sphere. I'm really curious about what these things are. Why is there lattices inside of these? I think I see a slug over there. Yes, but that's a little bit too... I probably already passed several slots. Like, why are there poison plants down there? And that looks like a hole in the ground. That is a hole in the ground. But I do not have power up here. Why is there a hole in the ground there? Somewhere I can easily get up and down here. Well, I can always get back up. There is a slug here. And get back up using uh, foundation. This smells of spiders. Hello? He smells of dead spiders. This is a very peculiar cape. Hey, you didn't die. Ah, you died. Oh. I don't want that. I want slugs. Creepy little cave. The sun is almost going down, so that should help past the slugs. There's a slug. And that will give me three more. I'm going to do something weird now. Missing the heavy modular frames, of course. There was a DSP update today. Why is that? Oh god. There's a slug over there as well. 
I need the power. So we're going to do some menial labor and place down uh, more lights. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Five, six, seven. Just gonna take it to the top then. Kind of getting a flow with placing down these. Okay, so I want the next one to be there, actually. Um, Next one can one, two, four, five, six, seven. Then I try to keep them eight apart, but uh, landscape, terrain, stuff sometimes prohibit. That would have been a natural place for a slug. Uh, uh, one that I was looking for should be down there somewhere. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, 
on that right. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I like that quite a bit myself. Instead of having several power cables being drawn across the landscape. It was JP's idea, uh, Popcak. I think he posted a picture of how to do it in, uh, in your Discord, actually. Ooh, hello there. Hi there. But he mentioned it while uh, I was streaming, which is how I was uh, made aware of it. Now he's he's really done some very creative things when it comes to uh, using the beams. That is a useful location for a slug. So I'm almost certain that I've missed slugs along the way here. Bonk. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What I could have done is just connect them up like that, but that just looks silly. Hi there, Mr. Slurp. Yeah, the, I, I love the beams. I've already made extensive use of them in my uh, architectural two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, that is a very bad location for it. In my architectural and architectural endeavors. Good evening, Age Boomer. Okay, can I see any more slugs from here? I can see a vast poison field. I can see a slug, but I'm not going all the way over there. Even if it is a purple one. One, two, three, four. Convenient that it's just outside of the switch. Because you can't place them down on the switches, because then you have to remove the railway tracks and all kinds of stuff. I have I've had to do that a couple of times. And I don't think I'm going to bother having lights in the middle of that. It it would be too much, I think. That 
might be a slug. No, that's a poison field. <laughs> it might be a slug too, but it's definitely a poison field. But why is there a poison field there? Because there is a slug down there. In the absolute worst possible position at that. Hello? So are you like the other cowards? You're not. Bye. Uh, do I have nuts? No, I do not have nuts. Okay, well. I don't need nuts, apparently. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, yeah, that one might be interesting, huh? I do believe I'm going to have to pull the power underneath because I don't think it. I do not think this power cable will look particularly good. No. Uh, although there is one thing that I have already shown to people in yesterday's stream, but I'm going to show it again. Um, if you are not fond of the power cables hanging like that, unless they have patched it, if you hover above it with a swatch, it tightens up and you get a tight power cable. So I could have potentially used that for something there. But I'm going to do it the other way. And I hope that they don't fix that. They did? Interesting. Well, I hope that they keep it. And that it isn't just a bug that they intend to remove, because being able to tighten up the power cables might be uh, quite useful for several designs. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Welcome to today's stream with me, Cobalt Valkyrie, as we will spend the next six hours tightening up power cables. You know people would be watching, Cobalt. Ooh, hello, little friend. Well, people would be watching. Don't worry about that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, people are watching me count to eight over and over again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, exactly. Counting with Caladorn. Although I guess that would apply to most, both Satisfactory and Factorio players. Two, four, six, eight. I can do it that way too. 
My brain smart. Can't skip number. And there's a hard drive. I only have a couple of hundred, hundred of those. Well, actually, I only have a hundred and something. logs how many do i have now that's six seven eight nine. Oh, i have enough don't i no they're not three they're two but i do have enough because i needed 12. I can finish the uh, the lights in between streams. I didn't pick up the train, did I? No, I didn't. How many heavy frames do I have? Zero. How many can I make? Zero. Okay. Uh, what I can station? No, no, it doesn't. I could have called the train, but. I do need to do more slug hunting though, uh, because that's not going to be enough slugs. I might just edit in more power shards via... via... via. I guess both of those pronunciations are okay, via or via. The uh, save game editor on the satisfactory calculator site. kind of bothersome to hunt them. This I'm going to remove because I'm going to build the station a little bit differently. That is too close. Uh, and there's also a couple of other issues with it. Uh, and I also need to have smelt. Now I'm not going to smelt caterium here. No way. Hello there. No need to be so angry. Where did the third one go? There you are. Sneaky little thing. Almost out of Nobelisks as well. Let's 
So this one takes two of them. Ah. I don't need 12. I need 18. Naturally. Mm. Kinda want to go to the red or the dune desert because it's just easier to find slugs there. Just do it this way. Why would you feel... I didn't see that until now. Why would you feel bad about people watching you place down uh, or, or running around straightening up power poles or power line, power cables? Right. I'll probably show this on stream in case someone doesn't know how to do this. You find a box or whatever on in the world, you right click and you select edit. Then you find whatever you want to add, in this case power shards, I can take 50 of them, submit, and then you download the save game uh, and put it in the save game folder again. No. <laughs> no, I do not click fill, because I do not need a bajillion power shards in a chest randomly in the world. I don't mind hunting slugs, but I do mind spending an hour doing it. Which is what I would be doing now. Dear Diary. <laughs> Thank you. going to spend a little bit of power though. That's 600 in each of them, uh, which means that I can... I'm saying it is 240... 600... divided by 200... It's 2.5. So I can start two and a half smelting lines with this. That'll do. It'll have to do. Uh, 
let's do the connect connecting up to various items before. Is this correct, isn't it? Yes. And this is copper, copper. Interesting that the uh, half of the lift thing is hidden in the floor. Can't copy it because it's hidden in the thing. Guess it would be there. like that's correct yep that is correct Although the placement of it wasn't correct. But I know something that I can do. Suppose would be considered also uh, hacks, as uh, Cobalt so eloquently put it. Ah, wrong location for these. Because nobody said that you would have to actually use that hole. You can just clip straight through it. It'll work just as, just as well. You have found that it's advantageous to use all the holes. In what way?
TW what now, Wally? Wouldn't that rather be DWHS? Well, I guess it depends on the sheen. Oh, that, that I fully believe. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing it um, here is because of the... Uh, oh, I'm... No, it would work. It would work. No, it wouldn't work. Um, question is whether or not he's a snapped to the... Roof tile or the frame floor tile? The decision of using those frame floor tiles has been uh, mildly haunting me. Yeah, no, that is not acceptable. Not when I can have it look okay. I'm going to have to move that hole. I probably would help if I put it in the correct position. actually use the snap lines, you know? At least it wouldn't hurt. Yes, it would be nice if you could actually fly through an unused floor hole. going to connect connect up the last four machines because we do not have enough product for that but it, yeah because 30 times uh, 30 times 4 is of course 120 mildly miffed at uh, how are up the line they actually put the uh, tier 3 miners. It's, um, 
kind of gated behind supercomputers or something bizarre like that, or maybe it's gated behind the um... I don't remember if it was gated behind something. Maybe the uh, the tactical board cubes, the turbo motors, yeah. Those used to be a little bit easier to get than they are now. Yeah, I vaguely remember that they needed something insane. And unless they have fixed... I could actually check that. Uh, but I have to go back to base. Because... I need screws to build an awesome shop for some absurd reason. That's fine, I have stuff that I need to drop off as well. Screws, that is the one thing that I really detest when it comes to the parts in this game. I go to great pains to make sure that I do not need screws. Um, that actually worked. I didn't expect that to work. Back in update 4, you couldn't buy the turbo motors in the awesome shop. You could buy all the other parts, but not the turbo motors for some reason. I should probably take away that tree. The ones that I have below are the ones that um, like here. They are tactical bore cubes. Well, this is a bad example really, but over there, that is a good example. I don't want a power line going from that one to that one when the train will be crossing beneath because the cargo wagons clip into the power line. So thus I take the power line underneath and up uh, wherever there is a crossing track. No, because it actually, I actually find that it looks nice to have it on I tried that at first, and then I decided, no, this actually looks better. And it kind of looks natural to have them disappear uh, wherever there is a crossing, since it is consistent. So it's consistent on every straight line. You'll find the power cable on top, then whenever you get to a crossing, it'll disappear and then come back. Yes, we know you're a heretic. You even have your own monument for it up there. Why is that an issue? I'm going to start meddling with where I put my car power cables now. Aha! They have put them back in so you can buy them from the shop.
people computer. Now, these these are the tactical Borg cubes, Cobalt. So they, they, you have baby Borg cubes, the modular frames. Then you have uh, Borg cubes, which are the heavy modular frames. Then you have the tactical Borg cubes, which are, which are the fused modular frames. And then you have the... I don't remember my own designation now. It's been too long. I think these are heavy tactical ball cubes, and then you have the nuclear tactical ball cubes. I, don't, I mean, they are definitely looking like ball cubes. So I need 50 of those, but I don't think I can buy those in the shop. Fusion cubes, thank you. No, I suspected as much because they have to be made in Blender. Baby Borg Cube, Tactical Borg Cube, or Borg Cube. Uh, maybe that's the problem? I mean, it's not like I lack coupons, and I haven't even cheated any coupons in. I'm pretty sure I can make the fused modular frames. They should be in... There? Here. So I have unlocked those. But I think that uh, anything that is made in a blender, like, no, the heat sink, no, but the heat sinks are not made in a blender. I think anything that's made in a blender is not purchasable in the, um, in the shop. And certain parts that are made in a refinery as well. Well, why can I buy batteries? Those are made in a blender. mildly annoying actually it would have been nice to just unlock it so that I could um, build mark 3 miners what do I need to whenever that happens I'm not doing anything it's just flying up on its own accord here uh, blender I need org cubes for that Yeah, okay. I should fix that. Yes, it is really annoying because it's really hard to get down again. There, that is a natural place for it. That takes... oh god. Nitrogen gas. It's the closest nitrogen gas. I think it's down there. It is mildly inconvenient. Why have I left 30 feet in a loot crate? See, now, things like that, having loot crates on the map, that, that that triggers me. I'm almost tempted to go up there just to remove it from the map. So I suppose I could do this. 
Uh, there's also nitrogen down there. But yes, the closest nitrogen is the one down at the coast. Ugh. What else did I need? Casing. Oh, ah, I need those. Oof. Fifty of them. I think there is an alternate recipe, but I don't think I can block it yet. No, I haven't. See if there is an alternate recipe I can find. Yeah, I I don't think I'll get anything in the mum. I don't want to use cooled units. That's even worse. Mum trees. Uh, the cooling devices are even more horrible to make. Ah, right, yeah, that's why I don't want to use sulfur for turbo fuel, because of the batteries. So I want to go there.
Yes, yes. Down there. Not sure if I can get power line down there gracefully. But I can. Surely this, this thing must be protected by some horrors from below. Tentacle 7 to you as well, Glass. Why are there no horrors and things here? Can I build a pressurizer? Yes, I can. I need some rubber and some motors. I am apparently building stuff. I liked my description better than yours, Wally. West Coast. I don't think there's something guarding the one at the um, top of the mountain in the Dune Desert either. I mean, I don't mind. I mostly find the mobs very annoying. Rubber and motors. Motors I have here. Rubber I can go fetch out at the uh, Gold Coast. Do I need more motors? Not really. I can take one stack and put this in. And I, I have those. I have those. Uh, these I have plenty. Getting your butt kicked. Well then. I wish you a nice um, rush. I hope you get some uh, well deserved rest. That you wake up with your butt less kicked. All that sounded very logical. Indubitably, indeed. Elementary, my dear Watson. Oh, I didn't show off this thing. I made a support beam. Had some playing around with architecture. Good night. stacks of that should suffice, yes. And I also need to pick up some copper pipes.
I wish the camera didn't bob every time you hit a uh, seam in the hypertube. I guess part of the problem there is that I'm not going fast enough. Right, Cobalt? Because you're usually not bobbing. Yeah. It's darn annoying. If you go fast and out tentacle, it won't do that. Colon tentacle. I couldn't have said it better myself. But then if I do that, uh, I will have people get motion sick from the uh, catapult itself, so that's why I don't build too many of the catapult uh, entrances. I guess I can pick up you. Pluto. I do not remember where in your base uh, has the designation Pluto. Ah, uh, yes, that was kind of obvious, wasn't it? I don't want to build it that way. I'm pretty sure that the mum will tell me that. Eh, nothing to research. Yep, go. Hey, it returned the hard drive. And I need a uh, extractor. You need to place this on an activated fracking satellite node. Yeah, those fracking satellite nodes. Sheesh. I hate these in general. Because of that. It looks cool, but it sounds really annoying, and the camera shaking is even more annoying than really annoying. Um, that one is pure, that one is pure. This is fine. This one will give me 120 per minute, so that's also fine. Foundation. that many of them. And I want a blender. Apparently I also want a power line.
And then I need 2,500 aluminium casings and seven... Oh, this makes 1.5 per minute. Oh, well, it's fine. Spiders? Okay. Casings are going to be mildly annoying, I think. Because I think that means I need 25 stacks, as I seem to vaguely recall that they stack in 100s instead of 200s. Yeah, it doesn't bob this way. The same for me, Cobalt. So it only bobs when I'm going northwards, apparently. And then it starts bobbing... No, that was just because of the uh, thing there. Okay. No idea. Ah, thank god, it's 200, so... 1,000... 2,000... 3,000. That sounds fine. randomly picks a direction to annoy you. Yep. That was about right. Yeah, I wish they would uh, disable uh, the head bobbing thing. The other thing I needed was four cubes, and I need 75 of them, I think. I'm going to take four stacks just to be sure.
just had a minor up there just to do this and select that stone. Um, do I have supercomputers unlocked? I don't think I do. No, I don't. But I can't buy the parts I need for supercomputer unlocking in the... Mum, I need AI limiters, computers, and high-speed connectors. It takes three seconds, so I can do that when I come back. Wish we could get like a turbo version of the hover pack. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining because I'm very happy that we have the hover pack, but it would be nice to be maybe 50% faster. And again, if got 50% faster, then I'd probably want 50% faster than that again and so forth. So. But it could be a little bit faster. Right? Yes, Mark II hover. Time burst thruster. Yes, that, that sounds very uh, correct. Uh, power pole. That would be nice. That's a good uh, good suggestion there. No, I'm going to connect it to that one, just in spite. Because it's making me do all this dreary work just to get my miners. complete one so I can see how much is needed nitrogen gas so I can overclock the boom thing. Ninety three, I think I don't need to overclock the boom thing. No, I don't. Actually, you were able to do multiplications in decimals that quickly worries me. Yes. Yes, but why would I bother opening the calculator? Exactly, Cobalt. You see why I have him designated as an arch heretic, Cobalt? I mean, moth. I do not have any computers in here, but I might have computers down there. I do. Uh, so I needed what exactly? AI limiters and high speed connection. Stack of those and a stack of those. 
Ooh. Yes. Interesting. Can unlock these. Okay, now supercomputer. You've got to do some of your own content creation. Have fun. Uh, I need 100 of these. And I need a thousand steel pipes. Wow. I don't have that many steel pipes on me. I have to go scrounge some for uh, rotor and stator production lines. You. This thing out here probably isn't done yet, but... Why is there a poison field there? Apparently there's a poison field there for no apparent reason at all. Okay. I wonder if they actually will add something useful. Oh gosh, this is... well... Okay, well, I'm going to uh, go back to the base then. I want to hang out here. It's a dreary place. Like, if we could... It would be a great power source. To build something above them. I suppose it could also be used as a resource for something. Let's set this to go to oil. Click hmm. type sites and that is good enough. Out. Just have this high enough that it doesn't cross the Oops. 
and we do this and we do this and I will return in about five minutes.
and I be back now if I could just get rid of that so I can open this so I can do that. Thank you. Weird markings in the water near the shore. Not too far away, we can check it out. should be uh, visible from up above. Is that a reticle rock? It is. Indeed it was. I don't like heretical rocks around here. Pesky rock be gone indeed. Now, all of us wishes that the noblesks would work on those things, but... What are those uh, markings in the water there? That one looks like a stick man. Kind of looks like the lattices. Hi there, Krishafa. I don't know. They might have added them together with those weird steel frame thingies inside of the uh, uh, whatever they're called. The rock formation thingies. It's not just flying, anyways. A substantial amount of foundations, Krasafa. Oh, I am so gonna die. Oh, it's so worth it, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I took it down again because I don't want to waste power on uh, on that just yet. But I want to have Mark III Miners. Why isn't he saying anything?
Really? Why isn't this shopping cart intelligent enough to remember my settings when I come back? Yeah, but it does need those things as well. I need supercomputers. That's inside the pyridentical, yes. Okay, uh, let me down. Uh, stash and those in there for now. Get those and. Hard drive needs to go in here. I don't think I need to run around with uh, high speed connectors either, to be honest. Wondering if I should unlock that. I don't know why I haven't unlocked that one. How many stators did it need? 25? Gives me that one. It's really worth it compared to the other one. Done with that. I could use the radar. Or I think that thing is pretty expensive in terms of uh, I think it's a lot of beacons. Would be, would be useful though. Not all who wander are lost. Thank you so much for the follow, Kali Gold. It would be useful to get all of these black areas visible again. Could build one up there. Yeah, thank you so much for lurking. Look at this. Probably convert that slug into uh, something more useful. I needed how many beacons? Apparently, made in this thing. Two. Higher. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, let's build a radar up there. And I think I'll have to do something so that I can make or have a... Uh, geez, I need more heavy modular frames. Yeah. As you can all see, this makes me extremely happy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to want to bother with making temporary things. Um, why are you doing that? Well, that might explain why you're doing that. Might be a good idea to connect this up to power. I think I'm allowed to... Well, I am allowed to build up there, actually. Because of the new clipping system. Whoa. Well then, okay. Now, I wonder, does that field of view increase? Or is this the entirety of how large of an area this thing is able to operate in. Okay. Uh, what is this place called anyways? I could probably cl clean up this mess. car is all the way over there. I can do that some other time. With the new roof things, I can actually make that into uh, a roofed building now. Drop incoming, so if you have a fear of heights, then uh, please do look away. Hi there, JP. I have uh, incorporated your idea. All along my... Uh, Railroad. It does. Thank you for uh, bringing that to my attention.
Yeah, I really think it looks better without the framework around it. Uh, because the um, the power connector thing actually looks like it's part of the entire construction. Even though it's floating, technically. I've also made a billboard after I watched uh, I'm Kibitz uh, stream earlier today. I have very important things on this uh, task list here. Particularly these two, and of course I'm done with the factory. As you can see, it's it's written here, so... Shutters. With the, uh, the doors. Okay, so what I'm going to do off camera tomorrow is I'm going to add a new train line uh, going outside of the coast and up to the backside there where the uh, aluminium node is. No, nitrogen node. Aluminium node, that would be interesting. Um, you can place them directly behind a window pane and they look... Yeah, I can imagine that looks cool. Kind of looks like um, blast doors. In my mind, that is. Um, the other thing that I will do is finish the lights out to the um, uh, Titan Forest site scene point. I will add a couple more radars uh, at some heights. I might pop up to the... No, that one is actually higher up than that one. I might pop power up to that maze up there. Twenty auto doors. <laughs> yes, indeed. My brain is having a great deal of trouble processing the one part of your statement there, Krishafa. What is this project that is reasonable? That's like saying the moon is made of cheese or the earth is a hexagonal something shape. I'm getting tired, though. That is a reasonable project. I don't see the problem with that. Infinitely expandable production setup. Go for it. So yeah, the radar thing up there. Uh, probably a radar somewhere near the hexagon. I think that the highest spot is that cliff there, but I'm not sure because that looks like it is in the Red Desert. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's the last one in the Red Desert. Maybe on top of that thing? I don't know. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it looks pretty impressive. Um, and I will also connect up all the belts inside of the uh, hexagon because it is very repetitive and well you, you have a point there Krishatha why am I trying to do that why not just build 40 foundations up in the air and put it on top of that. Oh no, gods. Okay. I might have to wait until the next patch with parts of my plans then, but that's fine. Um, because the next thing that I thought I would do was actually do uh, Caterium uh, via the pure Caterium. But I can go test that quickly and see if it holds true for me as well. Oh, 
Wait, I think I might need more rotors for that. Yes. Good thing I remember that. Anything else that I need? Yeah. Then I want to stash a couple of things in this machine here. Yeah, I, I really like the emissive uh, signs as well. That was a great addition. a good idea to actually bring cable. Um, bus logistics, yeah, that, that's... Painful. There's definitely something wrong with the clipping or, uh, or the snapping of the water extractors, indeed. Um, normally I would build a pipe entrance, something like that. Actually, what I would normally do is very different. I would make a 2 meter foundation on top of that one, drag that out. And then I will put down pipelines. Then I will take the extractor, and it has massive issues here. I don't think it's because of the water. You know, that actually works. But. Holding down control does nothing. Except that. Yeah, uh, water extractor 
Well, it, it works sideways if you have the... Uh, cursor pointing at a specific direction. But that doesn't help me very much when it doesn't snap this way. But it's fine, I can... Uh, can deal with uh, water extraction for this later on. Thank you. with me some of uh, I really need to start centralizing things though uh, so that I can have all resources in one central mall location because it is getting annoying to have to uh, go everywhere around the base to pick up everything that I need in bits and pieces So if I can get up that smelting facility, uh, which will be tomorrow, uh, then maybe tomorrow we can focus a bit more on replacing everything that is here with... Uh, I want to have this area for smelting as well, since there are four nodes here. Um, and then build a production area somewhere. That will probably be the project for this week, to tear down everything that is here, replace this with just a smelting array of some sort. Uh, I'm not going to do a hexagon again. Uh, that is a one-time thing. Well, I might do it again in the future, but... Uh... My main issue with a hexagon was that... Um... The foundations, uh, they they make this incessant. Like if I do that, you get this incessant flickering going on, uh, and I. I'm not prone to any issues with flickering, but it is really annoying to watch. And even when using the um, fast frame foundations, which I prefer, uh, you still get that incessant flickering. Uh, it doesn't happen there. Yeah, no, it starts flickering. When it's the same type of foundation, and I don't want to mix and mash these together. Um, and I would be using frame floors, which you can clip, but the moment you add the glass frame foundations to them, that's when the issues start cropping up. on it I know you can do it thing it flickers a lot and my solution for that which I did in the hexagon was to use the roofs which kind of fixes it because add that again you use the uh, the roofs if I can get it to actually back to where I want it um, that doesn't flicker but the problem with that is that it is 0 0.0 meters above the uh, the foundations uh, I'm wondering if there might be a kind of a solution to that, if I... But I don't think it'll work. If I do that, and I put a roof 
uh, that one and prep the nail glass. No, that, that doesn't fix the issue because then it's 0.5 meters below foundations. So that's mildly annoying, and I'm not allowed to... Where am I? I don't think that fixes it. I think that just makes that... Yep, it fills 0.5 of... Kind of weird. It doesn't align with the foundations. Or it aligns with the foundations, but it does give that 0.5 meter or 0.3 meter or something uh, difference. Which I'm confused by why they've done that. Why wouldn't they align them with the foundations? I can cover it with beams, but the problem is that when I then build something on the floors, the issue is that it's not aligned with the rest, and that's why I got all of those. You know me, I want my belts to be straight. I don't want them to be curved. And the reason why I got all the curved belts when I attached the, uh, the belts from the miners earlier in the stream is because of that 0.5 meter variance. Yes, they did fix the inverted frame ramps today. So that works now. Um, and I think they also fixed the um, other inverted ramps. Let's see. Yep, they have fixed them as well. Because the issue was that if you try to build any inverted ramp that wasn't the default fix-it one, uh, it would uh, crash the game. And it doesn't now, so they have fixed that, which is good. But it's funny how fixing bugs always introduces new bugs, like non-snapping water extractors. Yes. Uh, so that's a quick synopsis of what I want to do with the factory in upcoming streams this week. For now, I think I will end the stream and uh, get ready for bed. Let's see here. There are ample Raid targets by Nasser. Beam start. 40. Wrap up. I don't want to raid someone who's going to wrap up. Battlefield 2042. How about here? Sixty five hour behind. Yeah, I think that's a good choice then. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, thank you all so much for uh, being here. Uh, Day follows and ship, and I will see you all hopefully again tomorrow. I think we're gonna raid the BC one, of course, and uh, I hope you all have a great time. So, and uh, bye for now.